Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a video looking at the Daredevil buff. So this will be the Devil of Hell's Kitchen version of Daredevil. And by the way, this isn't the buff version, but I will be kind of like using this as a, a cutting between different types of things we're going to talk about. Basically, we're going to be talking about the new abilities and the changes that the champion is going to have. In particular, we're going to be going over what uh, I've got from the CCP and as well flicking between what MCC Journals posted just because it looks nice and there's colours and stuff to it. So that's what we're going to do. A little bit of both looking over the champion and this is good. This is positive news to see an old champion be buffed and as well with how this plays into maybe the story narrative of a variant because that's the thing as well. This does fall into a new variant coming out and also a champion is being buffed uh, kind of in association. Not to say there's a definite correlation, it's just nice to see that kind of go and into work. Command have said the mechanics of the champion is as follows. The Daredevil Hell's Kitchen version can deal massive bleed and critical damage through managing your combo and using his abilities to shrug off debuffs dip and dive through the fight to punish your opponent and as a lot of you know the, the normal one the normal daredevil eh, it isn't it isn't that good there's that there's nothing really on of value and especially from a combo building debuff shrugging and just just general usage in anything it's not really there so it's good to see a massive rework of this character the strengths of the character will be down to the debuff shrug off so daredevil has some super easy on demand debuff shrugging for any non-damaging debuffs that come his way I guess that's all right ish. Bleed damage, master your combo and release a massive bleed damage with Daredevil. And that's with the SP2 to rid yourself of any bleedable opponents, uh, opponent in your path. So, okay, yeah, right. Bleed damage, good, nice. Combo manipulation, a very unique ability similar to Squirrel Daredevil Hell's Kitchen has the ability to consume his own combo. Use this to your advantage to shrug off debuffs with Daredevil. Uh, there was base abilities or better managed nodes like counter tactics. Now, yeah, if you are looking for comparison, you can look to the likes of Squirrel Girl and the way that combos factor in to do more damage. Yeah, uh, can it be directly compared to any other champion? Not so much. If you're kind of talking about the idea of like Aegon and other combo building champions like Starlord, then yes, there are some correlations, comparisons, but really and truthfully, you're looking for something kind of quick and punchy with your. Uh, with, with these kind of like combo building so yeah it, it's more likely like this it's also a little bit unusual just to think that this champion is not all about the evading ability and maybe it would be a case of like uh, the reflexes and senses could be something that amplifies but unless Kabam are looking to create the Devil of Hell's Kitchen more like the TV series which is more of a case he's rough and ready he's always like scrapping and fighting it's not always perfect but as well it's a kind of a little bit between perseverance i think from the tv series it was more about perseverance yes all about the abilities and uh keeping those hits up being like strong and fighting but at the same time getting hit because that's the thing it does seem like the character in the tv series which this is sort of compared to not the one on screen but it's like there seems to be a difference between what this version is and what the TV version is. So I, I like the fact they're, they're kind of going their own way. And maybe if they buff this version, that it could be somewhat of a, a difference that the champion can go in, in the light, line in the future. Now, as Kabam have say, stated here, with entering the fight first off, the Daredevil Hell's Kitchen gains an indefinite passive uh, combo shield, which is, you know, good. Fight start, base regeneration rate is set to 40% instead of normal 100%, immune to all effects that modify regeneration rate except poison. Because this is all about non-damaging debuffs, as it says here, due to Daredevil Hell Kitchen, Hell's Kitchen being able to sit on non-damaging debuffs nearly the entire fight, we found he was just too powerful with willpower mastery due to this, we've lowered his base regen rate, he will still benefit a ton from willpower, but won't sit on a free heal the entire fight. So that's kind of them counteracting that this is where i think the big damage scale up and fun comes in so combo meet combo meter 15 or lower the unbreakable spirit of battling jack uh, battling jack murdoch so i think that's his dad grants the following when inflicted with a non-damaging debuff one of each non-damaging debuffs is purified each time ability triggers the daredevil hell's kitchen gains a plus five combo meter this ability goes down for two seconds passive so i guess it's a lower combo it's more kind of like staying alive staying alive and then when it's above sticks apprentice now i hope that's something of a champion that comes in the future the assassin training of stick grants the following 
plus 900 critical rating. Attacks reduce the opponent's defensive ability accuracy by 65%. It's quite that's quite handy. And as well, attack rating for each non-damaging debuff on Daredevil's Hell, Hell's Kitchen. This bonus decreases by 5% for each additional debuff. When struck, one combo meter is lost. So that's going to be cool to like ramp up your damage. And we've got a heavy attack. The first hit spends 10 combo meters, granting 100% chance to gain a stacking cruelty buff. So we're talking heavy attack into a special attack could be the way to go. Even more so if you're looking to then put in an SP2. That's something I'm, I'll be excited to see in principle. But as well, the way that you could stack this is going from SP2 to SP1. But let's see what Kabam say on that one. Because like at the end of the attack, you gain a rage debuff with no effect lasting 12 seconds. When this debuff ends, it is replaced with a fury buff, granting uh, attack rate increase for 25 seconds. So there's a good amount of damage on. So developer note, so this is from Kabam saying, do your best to combo this with Daredevil Hell's Kitchen heavy attack and you can deal some massive damage. The sweet spot for making sure you pop yourself into Murdoch Boy and shrug off the rage for an instant fury buff, uh, 30 combo lower when you launch your SP2. So again, it's talking about that idea of uh, going from one attack to then scale, scaling up, similar to when you do uh, the likes so of, I think you can do it Red Guardian, but I know that no, it's like Beardo, you can do it. So Cap America Infinity War, if you don't know who I mean. And it looks like there's some other stuff that's going to be handy for the kit. Uh, developing about SP3, a great tool for long fights. Throw an SP3 and forget about it. Uh, reap the benefits of some great bonus damage when combined with Fury from SP2 and Cruelty from Heavy Attack. So uh, what we're talking about, SP3, build up to an SP2, do the Heavy Attack, chain it into an SP2, and you could see a lot of uh, big numbers. Either way, there looks like some nice kind of scalable uh, damage with this. And more so with that kind of uh, balancing combo meters. A lot to take in, but at the same time, it looks like it's a, a pretty standard champion to use. Yeah, it certainly is a big change from what you see with this version here. So the big yellow number is going to be something that's kind of fun. It'll be interesting to note the extent of utility with it. But definitely dealing a lot of um, damage here or there is, is still fun to see. Now, I think this is the thing that really interests me, and that sticks Apprentice on the signature ability. While in this mode, attacks reduce the amount of damage the opponent can deal with passive effects when they're being struck by 100% uh, by 100 for 0.2 seconds. So as a developer note here, similar to both Omega Red and the newly released Gambit, when at max signature Daredevil Hell's Kitchen will take no damage from uh, th uh, from thorn type abilities on top of that gaining a free non-damaging debuff gives you some bonus attack rating to boot so that can be really fun for some decent interactions and i'd like to experiment that with uh, different areas of the game when i get to review this champion and synergies wise it looks like there's some interesting ones put together they've been updated which is nice is it going to be something on offer for some other champions possibly Punisher gets an improved attack rating. I think there's some good synergies around there for OG Punisher. Luke Cage and Iron Fist or Champions Perfect Block Chance. You know, that's all right. I think it's the ones here from Secret uh, of the Hand. So Elektra gets uh, gets some sort of Psylocke. So knocking down the 100% chance to inflict a 12 second disorientate debuff. Reducing the ability accuracy, so that's good. Elektra gets critical hits. Yeah, there's just some like little things here or there. Just a few scraps of improvement. Something to really kind of look out for. Yeah, nothing huge. But recommended mastery is willpower. Yep, yeah, and deep wounds for that SP2 bleed damage, of course. Especially with um, absorbing some of those uh, some of those combos to be better with the, for the bleed effect. Similar to Squirrel Girl, as we all know. This champion indeed will be a special one to test that in different areas. Even with Abyss of Legends, where you've only got like a limited amount of those uh, challenger attacks, or I can't remember what they're called, like ch the challenger uh, points, nodes, whatever. You've only got a limited time or a limited amount of hit before they expire. So you've got to make the most of it as quickly as possible. So what you can do in 240 hits is going to be quite applicable to the rate and amount of damage you can do during that time. So would this be something to use in Abyss of Legends? It's worth a try. Definitely worth a try uh, for different fight interactions, especially along there. Handy having his team? Don't know because there's a lot of utility required with different characters in the team, whether or not you're taking Human Torch against Mystics, whether or not you're doing you're taking Magneto in your team get hashtag metal, whether or not you're trying to keep yourself alive longer, whether or not you're putting Apocalypse in your team in order to stimulate some mutants on your team. There's a lot of things to test out with that theory without me going like, oh yeah, it's good for a verse of legends. So yeah, lots to kind of um, uh, experiment with that and try and have a look at. 
either way, looks cool. I'm happy to see this come into the game. I think reviews will probably be next week. We haven't got this at the moment in the CTP to review. We have to wait until next week. And also, we'll have to wait. I think when you get it, we get it. So it's, that's really what goes down with that. So look out uh, for the, the buff next week when it goes into game. Thoughts in the comments section, everybody? What do you think about this? This guy, do you think that the Daredevil buff is good? Some things you like, some things you don't like, put it in the comments section. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching this video. And yes, thanks very much for watching this video. It's been recorded on Thursday, and I don't know when I'm able to post this, but uh, I might post this today. So it means that later on tonight, I'll be doing Act 6.3.2 and trying to do a bit more um, of that. Uh, so come and join on Twitch. I think I'm going to be live streaming on Twitch. And yeah, tomorrow or Friday or whenever this video gets posted, we could have Cyber Weekend deals. And I'll be doing some videos on that over the course of Friday and Saturday. So keep vigilant, watch the content, appreciate your support, and see you soon. Bye-bye.